Hello there and welcome back to episode number 5 of the Edinburgh City career mode on the Just Ryan channel. This is Saving Scotland. So since last episode of the two bore no no draws, we uh, played Sterling in the league. And as you know, I said this is a very key game for us. And we went 1-0 down, Dylan Macklin opening the scoring, but Scott Shepard scored just after half time. Liam Brown with the stunner and Scott Shepard one more time to make it 3-1. We then went and beat Cumbernauld Colts away from home. 3-0 victory. We just had a completely rotated side. Michael Mitchell Duffy, sorry, getting uh, a goal on his first ever appearance in professional football, I believe, actually. Has he played for Morton? No, he hasn't. So, yeah, his first ever appearance. And in today's episode, we have a big, big clash. We're playing Cove Rangers. They are the best team in this division, according to the season preview. You can see by far and away, they should win. Um, as you can see, one to five. So on paper, they're five times better than us. Hopefully we can do well and not get beat five nil. In other games, we've got Sterling and Steinhaus Muir playing. That's quite a big game there because Sterling are playing well. They just obviously lost to us in that last game. But they're still a good side. So I'm actually really tempted to not play Wilson because he's just not been performing when we need him most recently. But I've actually gone and stuck with him, I believe, just for now for this game. Even though Liam Henderson did play well. Uh, it's so frustrating. You can see Aiden Wilson 6.7 average Liam Henderson with a 7.0. It's so annoying. But anyway, this is the team. Antel in goal once again. The absolute legend. Darren King, Balatoni, Wilson and Callum Crane as the back four. Jack Thompson will be holding. Sinclair and Brown just ahead of him. Ben Awubi comes back into the starting lineup. Followed by Harris and Ben Shepard. And that is the formation of 4-3-3 we're going back to. Let's get into the game. Here we go. It's taken like two seconds for Cove Rangers to get a highlight here and hopefully oh my god I was about to say hopefully they don't score from it but what do they go and do Brennan Camp just lashes it into the corner there was nothing Calamantal could do really if I'm honest with you but yeah he's just he's caught that so sweet boom right in top bins So if I'm honest with you, I don't think I expected to win this, but I did not expect to be down in the first minute. I'll tell you what, is that a red card? I believe that is a red card there for the fullback. Conrad Bellatoni's not playing well today, but they are down to 10 men. And if that is not an opportunity for us to win this game, then I don't know what is. I'm going to be like... Boom. I expect to see much better from you. I am going to take off Comrade Balotelli just in case for Liam Henderson. And if we go over to the tactics. If we play really wide. If we overlap on both sides. We pass into space. We'll leave that off. We'll let them do whatever they want with that. We play a high tempo. And extreme. No. And more direct. And I feel like that would just try and run them ragged. Yeah. Let's go with that. There's literally not been a highlight just yet. I don't really know what to say. We've done nothing against 10 men. I get they're a good team. I get that they're favourites to win the league. But they've got 10 men. They've had 10 men for literally the f most of the game. Like over half the game. And we haven't even created anything in the second half. Like what is the problem with... I mean, we have created stuff quite clearly, but it's been absolutely terrible. And in terms of the table, that puts us potentially dropping outside the playoff positions, which is not what we want at all. Anyway, so that is the formation that we're going to be playing a bit more offensive for this game. And I know that I said I wasn't going to do uh, another match it was just going to be the Cove Rangers game but I've just realised it's actually been a full cycle of the Ladbrokes League 2 we've played everyone once now you can see 9 games played, 4 wins so just under half the games we've won we beat Sterling, Elgin, Annan and Brecken so Annan, Brecken, Elgin and Sterling so poor performances against Cowden Booth in Queen's Park I guess it's safe to say especially considering Cowden Booth was at home we lost 1-0 so yeah Queen's Park up to up right now, down in ninth with 
just three points. So yeah, hopefully this should be a win for us. Um, let me just show you the team. We've got Antel in goal, King, Balatoni, Wilson and Crane. Same back four as last time. Thompson and Sinclair with Martin, Harris, Shepard and Ben. I will be up front. Let's go. That is very poor from the defender there. And even worse from Anthony, Alex Harris, sorry, to just sort of waste an opportunity, which was one-on-one. -on -one. He had the opportunity to square it to Logan Martin or Scott Shepard, whoever it was, but he just completely ignored them and completely wasted the chance. Looks like Queen's Park might be fashioning some sort of opportunity, but then, as I started to say, that Crane with a very good interception. Harris here into Martin. Sinclair, we've got five men up here in this final third. And now Crane sort of joining the attack. Can he whip one in? No, he played it short. I'll tell you what, that was good play. Back up wide into Ben Obi. One more, yes, yeah, Scott Shepard. That was good play. That was good play right there. Sterling are also drawing to Cove Rangers, which is nice to see. But this was just really nice, sort of fashioning the opportunity. And then when Aoubi did get into that little pocket there, he just sort of bided his time before he played it into Shepard. And a lovely sort of finish around the bend. Once again, the defenders keep losing Alfie Aguiman. You know from last time round, Aguiman was just an absolute nuisance. Kept on getting in behind with his pace that he has. And as I'm saying this, Balotelli better get back to that. He does. Plays it back to Antel. Hopefully this is not like a mess up and concede. Hopefully it's more of a forming an attack that we can go forward on. And I'll tell you what, it's looking good right now. Sinclair out to Crane again. Once again, down this left-hand side where we've been getting a bit of joy today. Which is nice to see. Jack Thompson now. He's been such a good signing for us. Just missed the consistent in the middle of the park. Logan Martin. Sinclair. Back out to Crane. Oh, look at that run. That run from Ben Aoubi was so, so good. And it's a shame that he put it just wide. But the space that he created from just a little bit of movement into that pocket. Once again, was just fantastic. And he gets a goal that he deserves. That's actually his first goal of the season. I mean, I know he hasn't, he didn't start too well. He took a while to adjust, which is, you know, expected from a Moroccan moving to Scotland. But finally, he gets a goal. Did make the most of it, but it's a goal. I feel like I'm constantly doing this with Aidan Wilson on a yellow card just so that we're not risking anything. And we'll bring off Jordan Sinclair for Liam Brown, who's been really good recently. Martin got the ball in the final third out wide. Can he do? Can he get round the defender? He can. And that's just over the bar. I didn't actually see. I think that was Watson. I'm just not used to seeing that name. I wasn't quite sure who it was at first. But just over the bar on the turn. Sort of in a similar position to where Ozil scored against Newcastle. I remember a few years ago. Here we go. We got King. Thompson. Shepard. Oh, he's hit the post. Back out wide to Thompson. Couldn't quite beat the first man. Can Darren King pick a pass? No, that's not what we want to see. And to be honest with you, that right there was just a really good all-round performance. There was not really anything wrong with what we did there. It was just sort of controlled. We took control of the match. We bossed the midfield and Curve Rangers unfortunately won 2-1. Stenhouse Muir did drop some points, which lifts us above them. And yeah, it's looking like a bit of a... One horse race out in front with Cove Rangers four points ahead of Albion Rovers. We're a few behind and then I think it's these three teams and then the team that is in this ninth position. So looking at Peterhead right now, that will be entered into the playoffs with us. But yeah, really good victory there. Nice to see Ismail Benoit will be finally getting that goal that he deserves. And in terms of the schedule... I think we'll have a bit longer next time, you know. I think we might go through up until and then play Steinhaus Muir and Albion Rovers straight back to back again. And I know it's playing about the same teams again. Um, but, you know, that's five games off camera. That's quite a chunk, you know. And these two are, they're looking like the two that we're competing with the most. But, yeah, do make sure to leave a like if you're new. Make sure to comment, say what you thought, you know. Maybe suggest some signings or whatever you like. Because that will be December by the time this is out. And then the next episode will be January, you know. So signings would probably be a good time to suggest just now. And yeah, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Like the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.